Australia, a country renowned for its extraordinary wildlife, breathtaking landscapes, and vibrant indigenous heritage, has recently witnessed a series of groundbreaking discoveries that have astounded the scientific community. These spine-tingling revelations have unearthed ancient enigmas and cast a fresh light on our understanding of the continent's past. In this in-depth exploration, we embark on a journey to uncover the most bone-chilling and transformative discoveries in Australia, which are reshaping our perception of human history and the natural world. The Venomous Cone Snails Beneath Australia's Great Barrier Reef, venomous cone snails dwell. Around 133 species of these snails inhabit the reef, earning the nickname underwater tanks. They feed on fish, mollusks, and worms, with some species posing a severe danger to humans. One such species is the geography cone, which grows up to 120 millimeters long. Though deadly, it is not particularly aggressive toward people. Cone snails are marine creatures often found under stones, rubble, sand, and sometimes tangled in coastal vegetation from Western Australia to Southern Queensland. These snails possess a long and movable appendage called a proboscis, armed with a harpoon carrying around 100 neurotoxins. They hunt at night, using their proboscis to immobilize prey. Their sting initially feels like a bee sting, but rapidly worsens, causing severe pain, tingling, numbness, and in severe cases, difficulty speaking, double vision, and respiratory paralysis. Cone snail stings require immediate medical attention, as there is no available anti-venom. Divers and explorers should exercise caution around these dangerous creatures. Despite their inconspicuous appearance, their stings can be excruciating. We hope you never encounter these venomous snails firsthand. The Marie Man In the vast Australian landscape, an intriguing figure known as the Marie Man, or Stewart's Giant, was discovered in 1998. A charter pilot named Trick Smith spotted a massive hieroglyph below him while flying between Moore and Cooper Petty. The Marie Man showcases an indigenous Aboriginal man hunting with a stick or a boomerang. It sits on a plateau at Completed Springs, approximately 60 kilometers outside of Murray Township. What adds to its allure is its proximity to the Woomer Prohibited Area, which covers a vast expanse of around 127 square kilometers. With an impressive height of 2.7 kilometers and a radius of 28 kilometers, the Marie Man ranks among the largest geoglyphs on Earth. The origins of the Marie Man remain a secret, known only to its anonymous creator. No one has claimed responsibility or witnessed its creation, leaving scientists puzzled about its construction without detection. The Marie Man earned the nickname Steve Giant due to explorer John McDougall Stewart's actions. In 1998, Stewart anonymously sent faxes to the media, announcing the presence of the Marie Man and catapulting it to fame. The Australian government intervened when native title claimants threatened legal action over the Marie Man's location. Consequently, on July 16, 1998, the property was decommissioned. During this event, a fascinating discovery emerged. A glass jar containing a satellite image of the Marie Guy, along with a note featuring a United States flag and references to the Branch Davidian incident. Some experts speculate that the renowned artist, Bartius Goldberg from Alice Springs, may have created this masterpiece. However, Goldberg neither confirmed nor denied these claims, adding to the intrigue. First, hybrid sharks. In the waters of Australia, an incredible discovery unfolds, a story of sharks like no other. Beyond their movie portrayals, these creatures are fascinating and diverse. Sharks have existed for over 400 million years, evolving into 500 unique species with varied sizes, colors, diets, and behaviors. They belong to the Elasmobranchi subclass, known for carlid skeletons and multiple gill slits. Whale sharks reach over 55 feet, while dwarf lantern sharks are only 8 inches long. Sharks are formidable predators with rows of teeth that regenerate. They inhabit deep and shallow areas worldwide, some traveling long distances. They can be solitary or social, like lemon sharks. While they may bite humans, it is rare and not intentional. Researchers recently discovered 57 hybrid sharks off Australia's coast, a remarkable adaptation to changing ocean temperatures. This unique blend resulted from interbreeding between common and Australian blacktip sharks. 
These findings shed light on nature's response to climate change, showing the resilience of these apex predators. The Gimpy Gimpy Tree Hidden within Australia's rainforest is the Gimpy Gimpy Tree, seemingly harmless but belonging to the dangerous Urticaceae family. It takes its name from the town of Gimpy and grows in northeastern Australia. Despite its innocent appearance, it's highly poisonous and can cause one of the most painful stings on Earth. Sadly, there is no antidote for this venomous sting. The plant looks ordinary from a distance, but its soft, fuzzy look fools many into thinking it's harmless. However, even a slight touch of its leaves brings immense grief. The pain is described as being electrified while burned by acid. The agony can last for months or even years, pushing some to desperation. The gimpy gimpy tree reaches about 3 meters in height, and its heart-shaped leaves have serrated edges. Tiny filaments on the stems and leaves contain the venom, which penetrates human flesh, causing legendary suffering. Historical accounts reveal horrifying incidents. In 1866, a pack horse stung by the plant went mad and died within hours. Ernie Ryder, in 1963, suffered pain across his face, arms, and chest, feeling as if his chest was being crushed. The pain lasted for years, even hurting during cold showers. In severe cases, swollen and throbbing lymph nodes add to the misery. Even dried samples in museums retain their sting, as the gimpy gimpy poison is resistant and stable. Unfortunately, there's no antidote available. Beware and hope to never encounter this extremely dangerous plant. Horizontal Falls in Australia's Kimberley region, there is a remarkable marvel called the Horizontal Falls, also known as Garen Gotten by the indigenous people. Sir David Attenborough, a famous explorer, considers it Australia's most unique wonder. Only a few have been lucky enough to witness this extraordinary phenomenon. Imagine that. About 15 years ago, the powerful tides surged through narrow canyons along the Kimberley coastline. The result was astonishing. The ocean seemed to switch off and a breathtaking waterfall emerged in its place. This incredible display challenges our understanding of nature's might, but the horizontal falls don't flow in just one direction. As the tides change, waters gather on both sides, creating an exhilarating 13-foot drop. Adventurous boats navigate through this narrow passage, offering an opportunity to experience the raw power of millions of gallons of ocean water rushing forward. Researchers estimate that during high tides, around 1 million gallons per second surge through this confined space, defying comprehension. Adding to its allure, the falls can reverse their flow, changing direction with the ebb and flow of the tides. It serves as a captivating reminder of nature's ever-changing transformation. With a width of only 70 feet, the seaward chasm astonishes all who witness it. Naturalists from near and far are drawn to its enchantment, seeking to unravel the mysteries concealed within its depths. The Awo The Awo, also known as the black-naped pheasant pigeon, remained hidden from scientists for a long time. Only two specimens were collected in 1882, so little was known about this elusive bird until recently. Despite being rarely seen, the locals believed that the Awo still lived in the wild. Surprisingly, they were right. Even though its population is small and its existence is in danger, this mysterious creature has managed to survive. Sadly, its forest home is shrinking, pushing it close to extinction. It is now classified as an endangered species. A brave team of scientists from the Papua New Guinea National Museum, Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and the American Bird Conservancy embarked on a daring expedition to Ferguson Mountain. This place was rumored to be where the Awo could be found. Equipped with advanced camera traps, they hoped to catch a glimpse of this elusive bird. Weeks passed as the team patiently set up their traps, growing more eager by the day. Just when they were about to give up, luck was on their side. A camera trap placed high on a ridge, 3,200 feet above the ground, captured an amazing moment. The Awo was finally revealed to the world through the camera lens. The team was filled with awe and joy. In the midst of their excitement, Jordan Borzma, a member of the expedition, recognized the Awo in the footage. Overwhelmed with excitement, he shared this groundbreaking discovery with Docanison, another researcher, and a group of dedicated ornithologists and wildlife scientists. It was a triumphant and validating moment they had been waiting for. 
the oldest axe in history. The oldest axe fragment in known history has been discovered by Australian archaeologists in the remote Kimberley region of Western Australia. This tiny piece, the size of a thumbnail, has had a significant impact on the field of archaeology. Dating back to the Stone Age period, 45,000 to 49,000 years ago, it predates any previously found ground edge axe by around 10 millennia. Professor Peter Hiscock from the University of Sydney states that this finding reveals the early Australians as technological innovators. Axe fragment was originally excavated in the early 1990s by Professor Sue O'Connor of the Australian National University. It was found at Carpenter's Gap, a large rock shelter known as one of the earliest sites inhabited by modern humans. Professor O'Connor notes that no axe of such antiquity has been found anywhere else in the world. The oldest axes from Japan, for example, are believed to be 35,000 years old, and in most other countries, axes arrived with agriculture around 10,000 years ago. Further studies have revealed that this axe was made from sharpened basalt and polished by grinding it against another rock until it became smooth. The question of who invented axes has intrigued archaeologists for decades. Professor O'Connor believes that this technology was developed in Australia after humans arrived and settled on the continent 50,000 years ago. However, axe technology did not spread across the entire country, as it was only produced in the tropical north. As people migrated into the desert and subtropical woodlands, the technology was likely abandoned. The Magnetic Termite Mounds When traveling south from Darwin, you'll come across fascinating structures amidst the trees. These tall mounds, built by magnetic termites in the Northern Territory of Australia, resemble giant gray pillars and capture attention like ancient tombstones. The termites, known as compass termites, have a unique talent for aligning their mounds like compass needles. However, the reasons behind this behavior remain a mystery. Scientists have theorized that termites may not possess magnetic abilities despite their name but evidence suggests they are affected by magnetic fields. In an experiment, magnets buried near the termites' new mounds caused them to abandon those sites years later. It seems the Earth's magnetic field disrupted their sense of direction. These termite mounds serve as busy communities, housing thousands of insects. With carefully designed chambers and galleries, the mounds provide ideal moisture and temperature conditions. Their strategic structure ensures only the sun-facing edge is exposed during hot hours, preventing overheating. Even during floods, the resilient termites find safety in these homes, relying on stored food. Biologists puzzle over why only magnetic termites build mounds with a north-south alignment while other termites do not. The advantages of this construction method remain unexplained, leaving researchers astonished and searching for answers. This enigmatic species continues to captivate scientists with its remarkable architectural achievements. Glowworm Tunnel The Glowworm Tunnel is a fascinating attraction with a historical background. Built in the early 1900s, it was part of a railway connecting Noon's Oil Shale Industrial Development to Sydney. The tunnel, curved almost 180 degrees, provides a dark and eerie setting. Inside, certain glowworms thrive sensitive to disturbances like noise and light. To reach it, visitors follow a bumpy path by car and then proceed on foot along the abandoned railway tracks. Surrounded by lush forests and unique rock formations, they experience the tunnel's mystical atmosphere illuminated by bluish-green light. Inside the 400-meter-long tunnel, visitors can admire the shimmering glowworms and fireflies. These glowworms, also known as fireflies or lightning bugs, emit bioluminescent light to attract mates and prey. Their soft bodies create a captivating display, ranging in colors from yellow and green to pale red. To witness this spectacle, visitors must adhere to certain rules, turning off their torches, silencing their phones, and refraining from talking. Only then can they marvel at the breathtaking sight of twinkling lights guiding their way. 20,000-year-old human footprints found in Australia 20,000 years ago, human footprints were discovered in Australia's New South Wales, painting a vivid picture of ancient hunters. Preserved in Mungo National Park, these footprints provide insights into the activities of families, including a one-legged man. The park, located approximately 195 miles from Broken Hill, 
boasts the world's largest collection of 700 fossil footprints found in the Wallandra Lakes World Heritage Area. These footprints, dating back millennia, showcase the intelligence and adaptability of Aboriginal ancestors, dispelling misconceptions about their disappearance. Of particular interest is the imprint of a one-legged man, which leaves deep impressions due to the pressure exerted on his solitary leg. Pintupi trackers confirmed this finding and revealed intriguing additional details, such as spear holes and a child's scroll. The footprints, when combined with 17,000-year-old human remains, captivate scientists. Examination of the bones reveal the stature, athleticism, and robust health of these ancient Aboriginal ancestors. While around 700 footprints have been identified so far, it is believed that there could be thousands more lying beneath the ground. Dedicated efforts are underway to protect the site and establish educational centers nearby, transforming it into a tourist attraction that honors its significance to the Aboriginal community. Wordy Yuang Wordy Yuang, Australia's Stonehenge, is an Aboriginal stone arrangement near Mount Rothwell in Victoria. It forms an irregular egg shape, spanning 50 meters in diameter, with the major axis aligned east-west. The arrangement consists of around 100 basalt stones, including three prominent stones at the western end. Its purpose and builders remain largely unknown, but it may have served as a ceremonial site. Wordy Yuang is listed on various heritage registers and is called Big Hill in the Watharong language. This western apex aligns with the setting sun during equinoxes and solstices, suggesting its astronomical significance. It could be around 11,000 years old, potentially making it the world's oldest observatory. The site is being managed by the Watharong Aboriginal Cooperative since 2006. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.